Well, how do there, chums? Today, chums, I'm heading down to a load of icy planets, and I want to see just how much they've actually changed in variation, style, and all that sort of stuff. It's, this is planet number uno. We'll also find a decent place to land, shall we? I mean, I, I don't think it's looking anything too special at the moment, but let's, uh, let's jump down and take a look. Could do putting on my headphones and maybe covering up this barnet with my cap. There we go. Chicka pow pow. Chicka boom boom. Let's jump on out of the ship. Okay. So this looks like pretty much the icy worlds before worlds kicked in. Now what I'm finding is because I've seen a lot of the worlds before in the past, if they don't look like they've been overhauled, it's just a case of jumping in my ship and flying somewhere else. I'm only looking for things that I've not seen before. So, and then I guess after I've seen all the new variations, I'm probably going to be doing the same again. There needs to be more to do on planets, especially for those people that have already done everything they need to do on planets. Anyway, I'm going to call in my freighter. Um, it makes it a lot easier scanning systems. There we go. And um, I'll be right back with you when I find another one. Okay, Johnson, well, this system's got two. Rick's I am and Alexi. One is a moon, the other is a planet. Okay, now we're coming down on this moon first. Okay, there's a storm incoming. Maybe we could sort of sit down and take a quick look at what the storm looks like. But to be honest, I've seen this sort of frost biome like a bazillion times. I don't think this is one of the new generations of frost biome in any way, shape, nor form. Okay, so let's take on off, and let's go and have a look at the planet. So something that still happens, that is, when one storm happens on one planet, like it just happened on that moon, you can see here there's storm clouds covering this one as well. So storms in systems seem to hit all planets at the same time still. I mean, look, that one's covered in storm. That's covered in storm. So I don't think they've made storms more dynamic to the weather or placement you're in some people were saying that you know if there's not storm clouds above you there won't be a storm on your area of the planet no i think it is still the full planet that goes into storm okay well let's break cloud cover and let's just hope this one's got some new gnarly generation to it heck yeah holy moly see the size of that mountain there okay i'm gonna land on this one i'm gonna have a little look around I mean, I can't see my hand in front of my face on this one. The snow effects are pretty snowy. <laughs> okay, let's land anyway. Look at those peaks just jutting up through the clouds. Okay, the terrain generation on this one is gnarly. And the snow effects on this one is freaking phenomenal. When it comes to the actual planetary flora... I was just about to say, I think I've seen everything. There's like a little ice cabbage right next to me there. Don't know whether you can see it because of how bad the storm is. Oh, look, I found one of those plant life creatures. Holy fudge. Okay. Well, hopefully the storm will clear and we can have a better look at him. I mean, we might be able to have a better look at him on the old uh, Discoveries page anyway. But look at that. I just come across one of these little guys. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even mean to. So um, I'd imagine there is some gnarly flora on this planet. But there we go. We, we found our first flora-type creature. Right, that's the first one I've come across. You know what? I give you guys the portal coordinates for this lovely world. Here you go. If you do want to come and grab one of these plant-like creatures, there's the portal code. And this is inside of the Euclid, Euclid galaxy. Okay, cool, yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting to find that. Awesome. Well, hopefully when the storm clears, we'll have a better look at this planet. Take that, plant of evil! Zap! Okay. I don't think this storm is showing any signs of abating, is it? No. <laughs> it's a very stormy planet. I mean, these reindeers just came out of the frickin' tundra. Okay. Well, I don't... Is this a cliff? 
Am I going to fall to my death? I think there's ground down there. Holy fudge, people. Seriously, I mean, you, I'd imagine you can't see and I can't see. This is insanely crazy, isn't it? I'm actually in creative mode at the moment, people, as we're um, explorating. And I think it's good since um, inside my PC safe, I haven't got any hazard protection. So I'll be seriously getting battered by the elements right now. You know what? I think it's safe to say that this planet is just a stormy as. And I don't think we're going to have any luck in seeing it. <laughs> okay, right. Um... Right, so yeah, let's call in my ship. Now, I've been flying around in the wrong vulture for a while. Oh, uh, dear me. Oh! Ah! That's what I wanted. I've got two vulture ships, I think. So I want that one, I guess. Why not land? I bet you I take off and the storm clears. I mean, what is that above me? There's like mountains or something around me. We just can't see this planet for love nor money, people. It's insanely stormy. Okay, well there we go. We found our first plant creature, though, people in the view of us, which was fun, wasn't it? That was pretty cool. And we're heading towards another frost brown planet. Now, I was just thinking to myself, you know, I very rarely land on frost biomes. This update has got me curious into trying to find some of those that looked as nice as those inside of the patch notes with the new frozen trees and tubers and all sorts of lovely stuff. So, has it got me re-exploring? Yes, yes it has. Am I glad that the actual planets that I saw on those patch notes are slightly rarer than I would like? Yes, because it means I've got to explore to find them and when I do find them I actually feel like I've actually physically achieved something. So although these videos might be me going down to a planet and going, oh, seen this one a billion times. At the same time, I don't want them to be easy to find. Okay, so it's not a niggle. By any stretch of the imagination, it's not a niggle. I like the fact that there might be like one in ten that's a gem. You know, that's what I've wanted for a long, long time. It's just it doesn't make a very interesting video. Chums, I've just scanned this planet. I thought it was lush, but it's not. It's actually Solarium. I know this isn't a Solarium planet, but I've never seen a Solarium this red before. So I'm going to go and have a look at it because I've got a, I've got a strange feeling, sneaky feeling, that this might be one of the new Solarium planets. I'll just have a look. If it is, I'll let you know. If it's not, then I won't include it in the video. Okay, Chums, well, I thought I'd feature it in the video anyway, but look, it's, it's got the same sort of flora that we've seen before, but look at the sky. The purple skies, the clouds just billowing by, and this terrain is freaking insane. But yeah, I thought I'd put it in there because you guys will probably be curious. Well, what did it look like? <laughs> okay, well, what's this one going to look like when we get down towards the surface? It's going to have any cool trees or tubers or frozen -y stuff. Um, okay. It's got some cables on it. Cable thingies. That's a bit random, isn't it? I've seen it before, though. Not gonna lie. It's nothing too special. Okay. Interesting nonetheless, though. I mean, this this has got, like, ready sort of coloured waters, which is nice to see. And the skies are nice blue. You know, on the Frost Worlds before, sometimes you'd end up with the yellow skies every now and again, and yeah. Anyway, there's a moon inside of this system as well that I need to look at. Okay, chums. Well, this one looks pretty good. I've not seen a rock like that before. I've never seen a rock like that before. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to touch down here then, people. I think I might have found one of these planets that look a little bit like something out of the patch notes. Oh, and I have. Look, there's trees that I haven't seen before as well. Oh, magical! Okay. Well, at, at the moment, on so my log, I've, I've got it set to something right now, so I'm just going to abandon that. And then I can start scanning stuff. Awesome, people! I found one of these awesome, elusive planets. Look at giant fur cone type things on it. Awesome! Okay. I've never been so excited to touch foot on a um, frost world. Now, 
imagine if Hello Games was doing updates like this. You know, every time they've done an update, just sneak in an extra biome or two, or extra flora, extra sort of rocks and things like that. If they just snuck in a few, every single update. A little bit like what we're seeing here. Imagine what the world would look like now, you know, eight years on, if they just stuck in more assets like this. If I was Hello Games a studio, what I probably would have done is every single new intern or anybody new on the team, I would have been like, right, your first couple of weeks, you're just going to be here creating a few more rocks and a few more freaking trees. And if you feel really, really fancy and inclined, maybe create a few new creatures. And then I'll stick them in game. At least then, every single new intern will see their work inside a game. People will like to discover it. And everything will feel very different because it's got different people that have worked on it. Different artists, different interpretations of what an alien world should look like. And by Christ almighty, please please start working on some more hazardous flora. It'd be nice to have something that's got like tentacles. It grabs you and pulls you in and you've got to try and escape. A little bit like the horror plants underneath the oceans and stuff like that. But... Yeah, and we've got three types of hazardous flora. We used to have one, which was a whipping plant, but again, every intern, maybe get them to do at least one new hazardous flora or something, you know? It'd be nice if different biomes had different hazardous floras that were really indigenous to those as well. You know, it's like you, you could have a solarium plant that actually fires fireballs out, like Mario freaking styly, you know? Yeah, right, here we go. Anyway, this is freaking lovely. So I know, I mean, I don't know how rare or how common these planets are. Maybe one in 10 is going to be this new makeup. Well, there you go, Look, I've scanned loads on this planet now. Let's, um, let's give you the coordinates there in the bottom left hand corner. Again, this is in Euclid. If you do want to come here, it's quite a lovely world. I guess it is. Let's see if we can get something from my thumbnail, you know, because this is the nicest of all the worlds I've found so far. I think that shows it off quite nicely, doesn't it? There we are. That'd be my thumb now, people. Heck yeah. I'll just take myself off the screen for a second. Or two. There we are. One, two. I'm back. Back on my shoe. There we are. Well, you know, I went to, what, six or seven Frost Worlds. And I found this on my, like, my seventh go. And I'd imagine there's even nicer ones out there to be found. I mean, I could have continued searching, but I think I've found a frost crystal that planet that's pretty darn awesome. And you know what? I was thinking on Mondays of continuing doing like the arena where I you know, combat people. But it didn't really get too many views last time me doing the old PvP. So what I might do on a Monday instead is maybe do random portal dice adventures and just go to random planets of all biomes all types and see what actually happens out there and see what else i stumble across by sheer accident because my luck in inside a game if i'm looking for something i'm very lucky if i find it if i'm not looking for something i find it my luck is a very weird kettle of fish it honestly is yeah so i think that's probably a good shout to be honest So there we go, chums. That's my uh, Frost Crystal World adventure. And hopefully I'll be doing random portal dice adventures, like I say, probably every Monday from here on in. Unless the expedition kicks off, which I, I think that's kicking off on the Wednesday, the 24th. So yeah, I, I think I've got at least one session that I can do where I'm going to do random portal of dice adventures. Awesome. And I'll probably do it on my PC save, this one here. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. I was headed on chance some undead by end screens, but I gained a new Patreon. How did I spot? Spot it! Badger on spots and dots on a badger. Rather than strikes, only cripes. Spot it! Badger, thank you, thank you, spot it, badger! Badger, 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 I spotted a badger. Or is it a badger with polka dots and not stripes? Thank you, spotted badger, thank you! Don't be wondering about that all day now! What kind of spotted badger is it? Is it? Please like and subscribe! Thank you, spotted badger from the zero or Thanks all! Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Don't be wondering about that all day now! What kind of spotted badger is it? Is it? Please like and subscribe! Thank you, spotted badger from the zero or Thanks all! Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Subscribe! I just bought it!
Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye again. <laughs>